Hello everyone and welcome. I am your host, Scott Fry. This is another week on the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I'm done with all my finals and I'm sitting here at the center of all orthodontic knowledge at the University of Colorado. And we're gonna be taking a look around at where orthodontists come from today. So both dentists and orthodontists can straighten people's teeth with braces, but in order to become an orthodontist, you need to go through two to three years of additional schooling after dental school uh, where you go ahead and treat patients orthodontically by either putting braces or Invisalign on. And you also get a little special training in growth and facial aesthetics, among a lot of different other things. So right now, I'm in one of my orthodontic chairs here in the clinic. And if you want to take a look around real quick, you're going to notice how huge this place is. So I'm going to give you a chance to look around just a bit. And when we have the new class coming in here in August, there's going to be 45 total residents working here in the clinic. And most that's, that's a lot bigger than most schools. Most schools uh, have a total of 12 to 15 total residents uh, at any given time. And it's really actually quite great to have uh, a residency with this many people working in it because uh, that gives us a chance to get experience with lots of different cases. And by the time I'm done here, I'm going to have gone ahead and treatment planned and reviewed over 2,000 cases. And for most orthodontists, that does, they don't even get a chance to see that many cases until they're a few years out of school. So that's one of the, the really great things about being a, being a part of this big residency here in Colorado. Uh, I'm going to take you over real quick. We're going to get up and we're going to go over to my lab. So if you want to follow me, we're going to head over to the lab real quick. And it's right across the hall. So right in here, if you guys want to catch up, is the lab. And if you guys are familiar with uh, you know, expanders or lingual holding arches, things like that, some appliances some of you have probably had in your mouth at some point, um, this is where all the magic happens. And usually, you know, eight to five, I'm in the clinic there. Uh, and a lot of times after school, I'm in here doing lab work and making lots of different appliances by hand for, for some of my patients. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our little tour today. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. Take care.